Yo, yo, you too. What's crack a lack a jack a smacking? It's Waffle Man with a video. And today we're going to be talking about my reactions and thoughts on the NBA 2015 draft, which happened yesterday. You know, we're going to talk about a lot of NBA in the coming days and weeks. So be wary of that. You know, I know a lot of you guys come for this NBA 2K15, my career, my team gameplay, which will always be coming out still. But, you know, we got to talk this nba man because it's gonna get crazy yo free agency is gonna be crazy but let's talk about a few things first you know first overall pick we already knew call anthony towns on the second overall pick in the draft i'm not surprised the lakers took d'angelo russell man because honestly it didn't make any sense for them to get jaleel okafor because there's so many bigs in free agency and the lakers are trying to win now so getting d'angelo russell who's a very talented player probably the best player in the draft was a smart move by mitch cup check so shout out to the lakers they took one of the guys i wanted on the knicks so i actually wanted the lakers to take d'angelo russell as well because i thought because the lakers take d'angelo russell maybe the Sixers might have to take emmanuel moutier because if you think about it they don't have a point guard they don't really need any big men they have nerlens noel and they have joel Embiid, who are still young in their careers so i was like why take Julia okafor why not go for emmanuel moutier but then again you take the best pick you take the best player you have when it's your turn so they took Julio Okafor the Knicks can't take a break we, we, we just can't get a break man I mean one of those three bigs probably Joel Embiid or Nerlens Noel most likely Joel Embiid is going to be traded from the Sixers so Sixers I don't know man they, they have a bunch of bigs now and when you look at their guards they're not really doing anything there so let's get on uh, let's get on to my New York Knicks First of all, I will say this, I had a feeling they were going to draft Crispus Porzingis, and this guy has a lot of upside to him. He's a low risk, well, not risk, but he's a medium risk, very high reward. He could possibly end up being the best player in this draft in the next four to five years, three to four years. Hell, I haven't heard people say 10 years, he's definitely going to be a superstar in this league. But then again, do we really have that time? I mean, aren't we trying to win now? We could have took Emmanuel Moutier, who looks NBA ready. We could have took Justice Winslow, who looks NBA ready. Willie Cauley Stein, the center, who went to the Kings now, which means the Kings are probably going to get rid of uh, Demarcus Cousins. We don't know what's going on with the Kings because they're trying to also say that because uh, what George Carl wants to get rid of Demarcus Cousins, they're about to fire George Carl. And it's funny because he didn't he just get there? I mean, yo. But listen. I mean, I'm okay with this pick, but it's like, this guy has to come in and make an impact now, man. I mean, he has one year to get an impact. Like, this is the only season, the next season coming up, that he has a chance to, like, slowly get into it. And then again, he's 230 pounds for a 7-footer. He's very skinny. His frame is like Kevin, is similar to Kevin Durant's frame. And Kevin Durant's not a bench presser, so he's going to have to get his strength up because he's going to get bullied down there. That's why I say, in free agency now... We have to get a big man that can play defense and it's going to help Porzingis at least because he's definitely not going to be able to guard those, you know, strong players like Dwight Howard. Hell no. He he's seven foot. He's going to get blocks, but he ain't going to be able to bet. He ain't going to stop him in the post, man. You, you, you throw anybody in the post. Even Carmelo can baby this guy. But anyway, that's not the point. He's going to be a good player, good shooter, good perimeter shooter, great moves, athletic, solid pick right there at number four. But... Is it the right pick for us in this time period? Probably not. Could have went with Emmanuel Moutier, who would have been in a starting point guard. But then again, I like what the Knicks did at the 19th spot. We got the 19th pick and we took Jerry and Grant, who's a solid point guard. 6'4", 198 pounds. This dude could play, man. He's better defense than Tim Hardaway. By the way, we, tra we traded Tim Hardaway Jr. for, if you don't know, we traded Tim Hardaway Jr., a shooting guard that we drafted two years ago, in the first round which was considered a steal for jerry and grant we traded the rights you know to get the rights to jerry and grant so tim Hardaway jr for now you don't know he's now on the atlanta hawks so yeah the atlanta hawks have tim Hardaway. we have jerry and grant and we basically got a point guard rookie this guy is a solid shooter you know like i said he plays better perimeter defense than tim Hardaway jr and tim Hardaway jr honestly has not been really doing much last season he had a chance to you know get his numbers up there with the team being basically nothing and this guy was getting outperformed by langston gallery matter of fact because of him 
we were put in a, a worse position to get a higher pick because he decides to hit a game win. I mean, re really, nigga? Th that's what you do to this team when we tell you not to shoot the ball? Anyways, Jerry Wayne Grant, I think, is going to be better than Tim Hardaway Jr., but Tim Hardaway Jr. is still a solid player in the league. Still has to get up there. He's still young. Remember, he's 23 years old, and Jerry Wayne Grant's actually 23 years old as well, so he, he knows what he's doing. He's a senior coming out of college, and don't forget about this. He has NBA in his history, just like Tim Hardaway Jr., Jerry Ann Grant is the nephew of uh, Horace Grant. As a matter of fact, H Harvey Grant was in the NBA as well. So he, he could just call up his pops, call up his uncle. He's good to go. You got Master Phil in the area. Derek Fisher, Carmelo could teach him a little bit. So yeah, I think he's going to learn a lot. He's going to be a solid, solid player on his team. And maybe that does solve our point guard position. Maybe not. We're going to have to see because Ty Lawson's available now because, you know, the Nuggets took a point guard in the draft. So Ty Lawson... Is available there's a lot of people that have become available because of what has happened in the NBA draft but yeah the magic took Mario his his who's supposed to be the best shooter in the in league I mean in the draft excuse me and I'm actually surprised that Justice Winslow went all the way to number 10 I mean that that is really crazy man Justice Winslow going to the heat now he's just, I think he's six seven six six so I don't know, they have a small forward now, but is Dwayne Wade still going to stay there? It's the question. There's a lot of toss-ups in the NBA right now. And if you didn't hear, LeBron James has just opted out of his contract for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, who knows what LeBron's going to do? I mean, I guess he's waiting for the team to make moves. But, yo, the Cavaliers have a lot of pressure, man. Because they're going to have to find some way to get LeBron James back to sign in there. Because Kevin Love has opted out. LeBron James have, has opted out. Dwayne Wade has opted out. So we have all these toss up players and it's like people are going to be waiting to see what's happening and that's what happened last season where nobody decided to make any moves until lebron james made a move and he had the nba in his hand and this this season i don't think it's going to happen the same way it happened last season because people are pretty aware that lebron james is probably not going to leave but we still don't know i mean there's there's so many possibilities i mean lakers are really in a great position because they got d'angelo russell they got Kobe Bryant now, so it's like, okay, they're very, you know, they're it's enticing to go there a little bit. Even though you still got that owner there, you know, it's, it's a little bit more enticing. But for the Knicks, man, uh, I can't, I mean, I, I like the picks, but, you know, Christmas Bozingas, man. I'm, I'm, if we got Justice Winslow and, and Jerry and Grant, I think that would have been a great draft, man. But Christmas Bozingas, I don't know, man. It's like, because... We still have Carmelo on the team, man. We're trying to win right now. And because we got Christmas for Pazingas, I mean, who are we going to get as a big man in free agency? Because we already know Greg Monroe wants to play here. By the way, David West said he wants to play in New York. Tobias Harris wants to play here, too. So, we're running out of space in the front court where we're going to need more space in the back court. But anyways, YouTube, give me your thoughts on the draft as a whole. You know, as Nick fans, as all you other fans out there talk about your team give me the comments but anyways youtube i'm out peace